Hey. Why you bring that money to the club if you ain't uh. How you naked on the ground but in person you ain't showing shit? Huh? Why you go shit. against the game? You can't be the nigga joining. Uh. Ain't tapping when you got the Cali, got your ass extorted. Uh, brand new cool floor, nigga. brand new bitch got a heart. Brand got new a heart. door. Have a nigga running like Forrest. Forrest. VIP, I'm very important. In the hood, I ain't never no Taurus. Got the drop on the op, we door explored. Uh. Why she from the streets? Why she real legit? Huh? Why she lit? Why she start a business with your bitch? Huh? 50 bitches flew to Cabo, why she a trip? Why you think he Kanye West? He got his own kicks. Whoa, Ooh. fresh out of pandemic, but I ain't rusty. Whoa, uh. have a baby by me, bitch. Come Big, be lucky. Get lucky, uh. bitch. bitch. I'ma throw it all. All the strippers love me. Whoa, yeah. walking best dress, but I ain't no kid. Cut it. Girl, did he just say what I think he just said? He said it. Yeah. Yes. Talking yeah. like a nigga, bitch, but not be ugly. Uh. Pull up with a ten yeah. waist, slim ass, chubby. Uh. Half a million on my neck. Who gon' take it from me? Pussy. 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 We ballin' on you, fucking dummies. Uh. Scared money don't make no money. Scared money don't make no money. Scared money don't make no money. What we doing? We balling on you fucking dummies. Hey, yeah. Yeah, that's what we doing, baby. Hey, listen, like man. Balling on you fucking dummies. We balling on you dummies. But right uh, now, listen, man, we on the west side, uh, right, to be exact. Uh, and today we got the one and only. We got YG in the building, man. Uh, and you're now tuned into me, 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 me. Million dollars worth of game. Listen, man. Pleasure to have you here, homie. Yes, it fucking it's a is. Pleasure to have you here, man. Yes, Likewise, it is, bro. Man. Thank y'all for having me. Y'all been doing y'all shit. You feel we, me? Yeah, Working, man. You know what I mean? That's trying what to feed about. the culture, man. That's yeah. all we're trying to do. That's, yeah. a, that's all. That's all it's about. Just trying to feed the people, man. Put that energy out there. But man, you you back out here in these streets again. You outside, outside. Yeah, a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you ain't playing. How, how? You know what was the process of just? You know, you was sitting back. You was laying back. You was watching the scene. And you was creating at the same time. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I was, um, you know, the past, like, two years has been crazy, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, I just, um, I ended up looking at it like a blessing in the skies, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I got time to, like, do nothing and just think, you know what I'm saying, and watch. So, you feel me? That shit helped me. <laughs> um, It helped me get out the space I was in, you know what I'm saying? Always feeling like I had to hurry up and... and, and and do something, you know? It's like, nah, take your time, my nigga. You can't do nothing right now. All you got is time. Chill out. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? So uh, I took that and, you know what I'm saying? I just started focusing on everything I wanted to do. And I wanted to do it at a, like a, a high level, you know what I'm saying? And I, I've been spending the time doing that shit. Like, I got the shoes, you feel me? I launched my shoes, you feel me? I was uh, working on an album for a year. You know what I'm saying? I got some TV and film projects I've been working on. You know what I'm saying? So um, your clothing brand be doing it. It be doing. The oh thing. yeah, the brand. You feel me? That's well, already be doing the thing. Yeah, that's already. You know what I'm saying? That's already solidified. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Hey man, I love when niggas get some motherfucking money, man. When hey, niggas I get rich, it. when you broke, you you ain't got no time. For, you gotta get it right now. I got. Man, I can't waste no motherfucking time, man. I can't chill. You I can't got do to nothing. Get it, nigga. Right now, nigga, every second of the day, I got to grind. Nigga, nigga get some money, man. I had to chill for a second. Yeah, you know? get your mind. Had a couple fucking Lamborghinis I had to buy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> yeah. Facts. Nigga, get yeah. some money. Nigga, nigga don't be in that rush no more. Yeah. Nigga say, oh, I, gotta, I, I wasn't planning that shit out before because, I, you know, the hunger in you. That's a different when thing. When you first coming in the game and you fucking starving, that fucking hunger is... But then when you get the money, it's good that you start, you know, planning shit out. And, you know, you got to take some time to enjoy your success, man. Yeah, because, like, most of this shit be, like, business and, like, you feel me, the right moves at the right time, you know? Absolutely. So, like, you feel me, nigga was in the game for, like, 10 years already plus. So, so so like, so I was lucky to be able to, like, learn that shit and still be, you know what I'm saying, capable to, like, write music that, like, People gonna fuck with like a large amount of people, you know what I'm saying? So, right. but like now I know the shit, like I know the shit, like I'm a dangerous nigga, you know? Yeah. Uh, That's you, what it's about. Like, you played a major role in, you know, like bringing the West Coast, like back to the forefront of, you know what I'm saying? You, game, you know, Nipsey. There's a, probably some artists out there, too, even on the underground aspect that I don't know that's probably popping out here. You know what I'm saying? But how does that make you feel? You no, know, because the West Coast was forgot about for a minute. The South had that shit in the headlock so long 
that the East Coast and the motherfucking West Coast was forgot about for a second. You know what I mean? We have an artist, you know, artist here, artist there that is sprinkled through, make some noise. But for the most part, they had that shit on lock. Now, you know, the West Coast is, is here. They back, like, like you know what I'm saying, back when Snoop and them niggas was doing it. You know what I mean? How that make you feel? Oh, man, shit. It's a good feeling. You know what I'm saying? It's a good feeling. But, like, I I don't even be really thinking about that shit. I be locked in on, on, on like, my goals and, and like, um the future. Like, <clears throat> we did what we did in the past. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we like, if it's a reason why, like, motherfuckers, like, I'm where I'm at. And like, you know what I'm saying? When somebody think about the West Coast, they think about me, it's a reason why. The reason right. why is because we was outside, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We was really like like outside in the streets, at the parties, in the ghettos, in the hoods. You feel me? All the shit, the bullshit, all of the bullshit. Like, yeah. you feel me? Homies is in jail. You feel me? Shootouts, homies is dead. Like, we did the whole everything. So it's like, you gotta say my name, you know what I'm saying? Right. Um, and like a nigga just like everything about like like um my brand, you feel me, it it like embody the West Coast, you feel me? And I, I've been representing that shit and been pushing that shit from the gate. So, you know, the people who, who from out here, you feel me, they gonna support. Right. I say that was like Nipsey too, his whole you know, his whole swag, his whole everything embody like, you know, the West Coast, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You know, I, I really wouldn't like not saying that that like Roddy don't you know because he's from the West Coast, but his music ain't. When I hear his music, the first thing I don't think is West Coast. You know what I'm saying? But you know he a great artist as well. But you know y'all, you and Nip and like, even even Game, music was you know like real West Coastish. You know what I mean when he first came out. You know what I'm saying? But I I think the younger kids is getting more into a universal sound. Yeah, because. Niggas like niggas like Roddy, bro. You feel me? They you feel me? They growing up to like futures yeah, and all that. Yeah, absolutely. Melodic, melodic, yeah, melodic, absolutely. melodic. You know. So like, you feel me? That's for like the whole young generation. Like out here right now, it's a gang of motherfuckers who who going towards a more melodic and trash right, yeah. shit. Because you feel me? That's what they grew up to. That's what shit was popping. You feel me? Like it been popping since like Future came out. Right. You know what I'm saying? So um, yeah. You know, and oh, yeah, no, the youngins. You know, I salute them, man, because they opening up their minds. You know, they don't feel it. And I, I always, I'm one of them old heads that salute the young niggas that's yeah. doing their thing. You know what I mean? I'm not one of them bit old heads. Oh, they don't rap. They don't do this. They, man, I, I let them youngins have their time. You know, they moment. Yeah, yeah. Today is they moment. Let them niggas have their moment, man. Let and them then, niggas be great in their time. Yeah, then all fact, 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 and then like everybody is here for like. A certain thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like everybody ain't gonna be like the rapper, right? You feel me? Everybody ain't gonna have a club like on lock. You feel me? Right. Like, but that's so. that's a good thing because you can have like the uh, like you can have a mixture. Sometimes it'd be different now, but I know when I was growing up, it will always be that hip hop was my thing. I don't care if it was if it was Cube, if it was De La Soul, if it was try. It was a mixture. It was just like that for for you, like the record you just made, right? Scared money, right? That was a mix. That's a mixture to me, mm-hmm. and that's how that's how I look at hip hop. I look at hip hop like I'm glad I got different avenues that I could, you know, that I could utilize this music to work out, escape, whatever. Yeah. But you know, you got you, Jay, Money Bag. It's, it's three different styles right there. Mm-hmm. Uh, y'all represent three different areas, coming with three different flavors, but y'all put that shit together, and that was that was smart right there. That was that was a good look. You know what I mean? To just bring them different vibes together because it's showing other cats like, yo, it ain't no rules to this shit. You can't mm-hmm. you can't you can't stay in the box, and the sound that was yesterday might not be that tomorrow, yeah. and and that's what's so dope about this shit right now, and like how y'all just changing the game, and uh how you still you come out you still fresh you still energized, mm-hmm. I'm like yo he on some shit the video I'm talking about the video I'm like oh yeah they really went in with this shit this wasn't a, you know because now we living in a time where though you get a video done for two thousand a thousand dollars right. I'm talking yeah. about that shit wasn't that was a whole no, that production. was a three day that was shoot. a treatment that was a yeah. treatment and anything that was some that was some shit yeah that was a three day shoot yeah that, Look, the niggas don't even shoot three day videos no more uh, man. that was a three day did you have something to do with writing the treatment yeah you feel me I was involved in the whole process um, you feel me the director though he came with he came with a lot of like artistic 
like shit like he came with that shit and then i was just tweaking like now nah, we gotta do this now nah, we gotta do this like this now nah, we gotta do this you know what i'm saying so we was going back and forth but i'm involved in all like my shit you feel me that i do like i'm all the way involved all the time yeah they said but when you know now that you you know you got time to chill I was fatherhood, man, because you got time to really chill. <laughs> Being there with the man, kids, you up in there. Gang, I was in the house, bro, with the with the babies, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. No, it was good though. You know what I'm saying. That, you feel me? That's always good when you get to spend like time with your family. You know what I'm saying? Because usually I be gone like probably like six. Like I be gone, gone, gone like six months throughout a year. I'm gone. Like if you count up all the days I'm gone, six months like year I'm gone. And then when I'm out here, like I'm, I'm, I'm. You feel me? Like I'm recording or I'm I'm moving around. Like I'm still doing shit. So it's like I ain't all the way like home. But during COVID, like I was all the way at home. You know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, I got to spend a lot of time with my kids. You know what I'm saying? Um, you feel me? They gave me headaches and shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm, how old are your kids? <laughs> um, my oldest six and my my baby she two. Oh okay. Yeah, they ain't playing. Let me ask you a question. When you yeah. had when you when you when your kids was born? Because I know for me. You know, we come up in the ghetto. We, you know, we do what we do. One day, you know, I'm, I'm sitting in the house and I got my son and I got my daughter there, and they just run past me, and that shit kind of changed my life because I just, just from, I never forget this day because I just was like, yo, I'm out here fucking tripping, man. Like I got real fucking kids out here, like. So for me, my kids brought on some growth. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel as though when you had kids, it brought growth to your to your life? Like you know what I'm saying? Because I really had to look at my kids one day and be like, I'm on some dumb shit out here. You know what I'm saying? I got fucking real life kids out here, and I'm I'm begging to go to the fucking penitentiary or to go to fuck to heaven, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> he trying to walk the yard, <laughs> right? I'm man. begging to walk the yard with love. <laughs> yeah, nah, man. Yeah the, yeah, yeah, the kids definitely, like, switched the program up. It was crazy because I got shot, like, 2015, right? Mm -hmm. And, like, I got I got popped at the, uh, like, it was a house I was recording at. And, like, my daughter was just born. She was, like, three weeks old. And I had her at the spot. And then, like, some random shit happened. Like, me and her mama, you feel me? So then, you feel me, they just left, but it was random, you feel me? They wasn't really supposed to leave. And, like, two, three hours later, you feel me, I get popped at that same spot. It was, like, a whole situation at the spot. And then in my head, I'm like, Damn. bro, my daughter was supposed to be here. Bro, this shit crazy. Right. Yeah. Bro, that shit was, I'm like, yeah, nah, 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 nah. I got to switch up the whole program, like, and like from then, like from that day on, like nigga been moving different. Like and like every year it get better and better and better, you feel me? That's fucking right. Um, but yeah though, like the kids definitely do that to you. That's what they supposed to do, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Absolutely, man. Yeah. That's definitely that's definitely the uh, They don't do it to everybody though. You got some niggas running around here still they forty five with born to lose tattoos on their fucking back still <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't never wanna see their fucking kids do nothing. <laughs> Like, yo, you know your son right down the block, right? Posting yeah, up. I get to that nigga when I get to him. Damn. Trying to be, you know I me, mean? like when 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 you when you in you chilling, you resting, you doing your thing, you coming up with ideas and make this music. Would you send stuff around like to different artists and just vibing you do you just vibing with other artists and just connecting with them? Yeah, I be like I sent a couple motherfuckers my shit but before before I put it out, you feel me? I I do a lot of testing with like, you feel me? I got like, you feel me? How I be testing my records, you feel me? I I like I call the homies to the studio, and you feel me? The homies gonna give me the homie opinion, you feel me? And them niggas is in these L.A. streets all day. You always say that. You feel me? So like, you feel me? They gonna tell me, no, the city don't wanna hear that shit. You feel me? This is what the city want to hear. You feel me? The homies gonna give me that, mm -hmm. and then I'ma have a, you feel me? I'ma have a group of females in the spot, and then we gonna play it, and then I'ma just watch them. I'ma just watch. I'ma just watch them how they move, 
And then I got my music industry motherfuckers, you feel okay. me? Like label people, mm-hmm. all that type of shit. And then I got like artists and shit. And then you got the DJs, you know what I'm saying? Let me ask you Quality a question. Control, he Out of all the motherfuckers you just named, who's, and I don't want, don't give me no industry answer, YG, who the motherfuckers that be off the most? Uh, they be off. <laughs> man, who be off? Let me see. They be like, man, that shit ain't what it is. Ah, who done been off when you done had some shit and they tell me some? No, it ain't, they ain't. And you like, I notice it. Hold I know on, this. your homies might be like, I notice it. The chicks might be like, I notice it. I don't know, bro. Not even like, like the homies ain't no yes man and shit. Like, niggas. but the homies could be off too. Nah, but look, I don't know look, about bro. this one. Look, bro, you at the fucking Grammys? No, no, no. <laughs> when have I put out a a record that ain't been the one? But but did like, anybody say it wasn't the one? As far you- as like really like like back into I mean y'all probably ain't gonna know because like you feel me the team know like we'll put a song out like I dropped a song in in October called Sign Language I put it out but like we all knew like bro that's not the single like we had scared money since motherfucking August September mm-hmm. but it, like I ain't put out no shit like in a long time I need to put out some shit put it out you feel me let people know. A nigga finna come, you know? So we put out sign language. You feel me? The world probably thought, oh, you feel me? That's his single? Oh, yeah, that ain't it. You feel yeah. me? Mm-hmm. So it be like it be shit like that. Like, bro, when I make a decision on something, you feel me? I didn't ran it, like, through my process, like, multiple times. So it's really like, like, I don't know. Like, niggas don't be like, like, niggas make group decisions. You, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to think, man. Who be uh off the most? Rod, is it you? <laughs> <laughs> My man, I be off the most. I'm I don't to... know about this one. Nah, bro. Like, I don't. <laughs> Let's welcome YG to the Grammys. Y- you was right. <laughs> yeah. Nah, bro. Cause see, it ain't never been that. It always been like niggas know. Like you know, niggas when, know. Yeah, you know when it's a record. When you you feel me? Like you know. But the, all right, let me ask you a question. Have you ever had a record that you that the team felt was going to be bigger than what it was? And did you ever have a record that the team felt, oh, I don't know, and then it got bigger than what they thought? Yeah, like we didn't, you feel me, that didn't happen to us multiple times. Like my nigga, yeah. you feel me, when we put out my, my nigga, like Jeezy, you feel me, that's when I was fucking with Jeezy and yeah. shit. Jeezy was like, you feel me, he heard the song, he's like, nigga, put this shit out. I'm like, nah, bro, I'm saving that shit for the album. He's like, no, nigga, put this shit out now. Mm-hmm. I'm like, bro, I'm <laughs> saving it for the album. It's an album song, my nigga, don't even worry about it. No. He like, nah, nigga, so he ended up putting it out. Damn, Jeezy said. No, Jeezy was like, nah, Jeezy did the greatest shit for your career. <laughs> yeah. Fuck no, that nigga, did. put it out. <laughs> no, he did, you feel yeah. me? And I was hot. I was like, bro, like, nigga, whoo, whoo. He like, nigga, and then the song ended up. Popping out, he like, I told your ass. I'm like, yeah, you did that. Yeah. But but like we like we felt like like we knew my nigga was a regular, but we didn't no, it know. No, was that big. Yeah. You ain't know how nah, big that bro. was. Because yeah. it's called, first of all, it's called my nigga. So we already automatically thinking like, bro, yep. it's not finna be a Yep, the record label was like, uh, that's not a single. Listen, do, exactly. you, do you understand this? I don't, I don't think you understand. The go to the field song for JSU, Jackson State, Deion Sanders coach, to go yeah. to the field song is my nigga. Shout out Deion Sanders right. and shit. I'm talking about that's yes. the, that, so, when we ready to go so to the field, So every time Prime give his speech to the, the, they the, play the that? rocker room, yeah, yeah, he yeah. say, all right, now put my theme song oh, on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I be seeing that shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then they come on, nah, and I'm talking about years yeah. later, yeah. and they get turned up and they go out there and destroy shit, man. Absolutely. So, so Jeezy knew something. That nigga knew Yeah, something. no, Jeezy for sure knew what he was talking so, about. So let me ask you a question. How did the first call go? Because I know you was on some YG West Coast shit. I'm saying, what the, like, what's up, blood? Like, what the fuck? You put my shit out? I'm like. <laughs> uh, fuck, bro. That was 2013, bro. That's almost 10 years ago. <laughs> then he uh, had to call him back. I love you, blood. <laughs> nah, 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 bro. Nah, Jeezy, that's big bro, bro. You yeah. feel me? It wasn't no, like. Yeah, like but no I know what. Like, so what I song? Artists, what song did you have that was pulled that you felt as though was going to be the single? I was still working on my album, bro. Oh shit! You feel me? I wasn't even near it yet. Like, but like that was a learning experience. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because you feel me? The process, the right way to uh, roll out an album is to like have multiple singles first. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So like, 
Jeezy was like, nigga, what are you waiting for? Like, you working on your album, you halfway there, you feel me? The song gonna take time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's gonna take the bill. Yeah, because I was like a new, like not a new artist, but I was like a mixtape artist at the time. I never had like a real album, you know what I'm saying? So, you feel me, when you a new artist like that, um, um, yo, singles take longer to like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Pack off. Absolutely. Because people gotta find out, figure out who you are, learn exactly. about you. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers motherfuckers be riding around singing your songs, don't you don't have no face. fucking clue who you are. They don't even know your name. They just be like, Oh, I like that song. My nigga, my nigga. Yeah, yeah. that's I like that shit. Yeah. yeah so, bro. you know, that's how it be when you a new artist. Who know? in the game that you haven't worked with that in your mind you said, I gotta fuck with him. Whether it's young or older cat that you like, I gotta do something with him. Um, all woman. Um, I gotta do something with Megan. You know, some ratchet shit. Okay. Um, some rap shit. I gotta do something with Eminem. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, you feel me? I gotta, I gotta get up on the Tupac verse somehow, some way. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, let me see. Um, damn. Bro, this question is hard, cause like, Hov, Jay Z. Okay. Um. Well, that's what you and Wayne, I was with again. We asked the dude the good questions. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Fuck. Let me see. Oh, the weekend. I fuck with the weekend heavy. Mm -hmm. Um. See, we gonna make some. We, one of these, or two of these. Uh, gonna pop off. This gonna pop off. Cause see, we about talk speaking shit to existence. Mm -hmm. Post Malone. Mm -hmm. I mean, I got a record with him. I got, I did one of his records and shit for him, but you feel He me? might be on that new album you got dropping. Yeah, I'm saying, who knows? <laughs> hey, Post, yeah, what's absolutely. up? Post. <laughs> I know you watching, you watch yeah. this shit. Yeah. Post, I know you posted up at the crib, you know, with a studio in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nah, bro, man. I be looking at records and just um, who I want to work with, it's really like when I got the right uh, like song, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I can make a song and you feel me? It sound like it could sound like the person I need on the song is somebody I never even thought of. You right. know, who I wanted to make music with, right. but it'd be like, nah, he'll fit this shit perfect. You know? Right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by New Amsterdam Vodka. Now, uh, life ain't going your way. Shot a New Amsterdam Vodka. <laughs> You caught your woman cheating today. Shout out to New Amsterdam Vodka. Oh, you thought that check was in the mail and that motherfucker didn't come your way? Shout out to New Amsterdam Vodka. It's distilled five times. It's filtered three times. Three. Uno, dos, tres. For that clean, crisp finish, you could drink it straight up. You could drink it on the rocks. You could drink it with juice. You could drink it with soda. Or you could make a classic New Amsterdam mule. So when you're out and about at your local liquor store, pick you up some New Amsterdam vodka. The official vodka of Barstool Sports. Sport and the presenting sponsor of Million Dollars Worth of game. game. And it's great for pregame. And shout out to the New Amsterdam queen, my wife. You know what I mean? Always at the crib, making yes. it happen with the cocktails, with the New Amsterdam so, you know, shout out to New Amsterdam when you're out and about, pick you up some. Right, right. Now on the west side, right, on the west coast, growing up, who did you really fuck with, like, musically? Like, who really, like, inspired you? Like, yo, I'm a dumb. Bro. Outside of, you know, outside of, like, the, go ahead. I mean, shit, are the usual suspects, the fucking uh, Snoop, Dre, Pac, Game, Lil Wayne, you feel me? Like, Lil Wayne, heavy, I got Lil Wayne verse tatted on my stomach. Mm -hmm. You feel me? No homo. Um, um, yeah, bro. Uh, Biggie, Fifty. Um, you feel me? I started listening to Hove when I got a little like I knew Hove like singles as records, but I started listening to the nigga album like when a nigga was like really in the uh, rap shit. Like all right, like Hove a nigga. Like you right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel me? Um, um, fuck. E forty, heavy E forty. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Um, Ice Cube. Um, I think if you a rapper and Ice Cube didn't influence you, it's just like yeah, that nigga Ice Cube cold with the storytelling. Any? You feel me? That's where I get my shit from. My storytelling. 
Ice Cube and Biggie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Biggie and Biggie. Good. Biggie will take you on a journey on one of them stories. One of yeah, them. bro. Um, fucking Eminem. I think I said him already. Yeah. Um. Yeah, bro. Who you Who your top five uh, West Coast artists of all time? Top five. Damn, that's hard. Fucking. Um, mm. Now you know you got to leave somebody you got out, right? Snoop Dre. Okay, that's Pac, two. That's three. Easy E. That's four. I had to put Easy in there. Uh, 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 yeah, Ice Cube. Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to keep it real respectable. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. I'm going to keep it real respect. I can't. It's other motherfuckers, like, for sure. Like, you got the games. You got Kendrick Lamar. You know what I'm saying? Nip. Oh, yeah, Nip. No, no, no. Fuck that. You got to take somebody off. Okay. You got to put my nigga Nip on. Okay. He ain't yeah. here with us right now. So right. we got to yeah. go up there. R.I.P. Yeah. Nip. All that. That's what I'm talking about. What's your top five East Coast rappers? Biggie, uh, Hov, um, um, when you say East Coast, you talking about like New York? Yeah. Or just the whole. Yeah. Philly, New York, Baltimore, D.C., Boston, all of that shit. Fucking, damn, bro. Biggie, yeah. Hov, yeah. Nas. Um, is this like just all of <laughs> All rappers like now to back in the yeah. day, Meek Mill, um, um, oh J Cole. Okay, okay. but I see I see Meek jumped on that scared money. He did like a remix. No, Meek was supposed to be on that shit. I sent it to Meek first. What? Yeah, nigga, Meek, nigga. Yeah, he know he know what happened. Hold on, wait, what, what fucking camera is Meek, nigga? Millie, nigga. I sent it to Meek Mill first. I was on that nigga. I said, bro, nigga, nigga. I got one for you. You feel me? He like, bro, you feel me? We need to make hits together. You feel me? Like, you feel me? We already did all the street shit. I said, bro, I got one for you. Like, he like, all right, send it. I sent it to him. Boom. He like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this one. You yeah, call that nigga. Yeah, man. we gotta, we gotta we get that nigga on the phone, man. See if he gonna answer. Hey, call back. That's that's crazy. So Meek was supposed oh to be my on God, that. Yeah, you know, Meek, my nigga. Yeah, so I, I heard been... him, but I heard him playing a a version in his in his stories. Yeah, he got so like when I sent him the song, he had hit me back and shit like some weeks later. And he was in the studio. He like, bro, I did two verses. I don't know which one is the one. I said, nigga, send send that shit, nigga. Damn. He never sent me nothing. And then he played it the other day in the fucking on the story. He was playing the Okay. I'm yeah. like, damn. Oh, you ain't even see it, huh? Nah. I seen that shit. He was playing that shit. And he was rapping on yeah, it. Yeah, he was he had it was all I'm like, damn, you on the remix? Man, this nigga crazy. Oh, oh, shit, man. that's the remix already set up. Me, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> another video, all that shit. Remix that shit. Yeah, you know me. That's my nigga, nigga. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, man. Yeah, I sent it to him first. Damn. Yeah, that would have been that would have that would have been heavy, heavy. I'm man. talking about that'd have been super heavy. You know, so what Meek mean? on all there too. Uh, it's already it'd, super it'd all, heavy. And uh, and Money and J Cole, all of them. Um, yeah, we could have did that. You feel me? That's how I did uh, uh, when I did the Big Bang record. I had like. Like it was four artists on that yeah. motherfucker. Well, I think, and everybody was like, "Bro, you can't make the song that long. You can do what you want to do." I'm like, "Nigga, what? Man, stop talking to me." I think you should do versions of it now. I mean, shit is different. Up. You should do, you know what I mean? Different ver because that's S South version. That's a, that's a song where motherfuckers got to You got to talk that shit. Yeah. You not Eight talking that version. shit. You, you, you got to get exposed. exposed. You can't. You you got to come rapping. You got to talk yeah. that shit. You can't do nothing yeah. else on that record. You, nothing. You can't do you can't, none of that. And, other, so you got to come rapping. You got to come. You got to talk yeah. that shit. And if you can't talk that shit. That's a record that you will get exposed on. No, you should. You should. You know, and, you should And that it give out. an opportunity yeah, for all that. the niggas that know how to talk that shit and want to talk that shit. Yeah. To you know what I'm saying? Take that shit down south. Take that shit to Houston. Taste that shit. Mid. Yeah, you can keep running. Yeah, you can run yeah, that yeah, play. Yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah, bitch keep so. it. And more, more visuals and all that shit. Now you know. Uh, what is what, what? What is the next thing that you really want to do, man? You know what I mean? Um. Um, bro, I got my artists and shit, so you feel me, my label and my artists, I got to, you know what I'm saying, I got to, you feel me, I'm involved with a lot of people with uh, success from from L.A., you feel me, but they they not like my artists, so now I'm like, all right, I got to like okay. do the same thing with my artists, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Um, So I got that, and like my clothing line is already successful, but I'm trying to like really build it out. Um how I want to build it out, you know what I'm saying? So I've been working on that. And like my TV and film shit is, is, is you feel me? That's like the next, 
You feel me? That's like the next thing that's like finna be like some shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Finna be some shit. That's yeah. what. Oh, and uh, in your TV and film, is you gonna be writing? Yeah, bro, I'm involved. With, like I'm writing. I'm. I'm. Yeah. Yeah. Man, that's major. So what you got? Like yeah. you, you, you coming out with a TV show? Or you I'm just producing? working on a lot of shit. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. I'm working on a lot of shit. That's yeah. what I'm talking about now. You and Nip had a legendary song. You know what I mean, I mean, fuck. You know, y'all had a legendary song. How was you know? What is it? What What is a, a great moment that you remember with Nip, man? Man, uh, that don't nobody know. Man, we had so many great moments. Uh-huh. But no, the best moments with Nip is like, bro, because like Nip is a certified street nigga, gang member, super crip, six old. Uh-huh. Like, you feel me? That's him. He with all that. You know what I'm saying? I'll never get it fucked up. Uh-huh. But everybody that pull up that like fuck with Nip, bro, he the nigga that's going to talk to you about everything else. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like real life shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Family shit, nigga, goals, nigga, morals, nigga, books. All that. So, like, them my greatest moments with the homie. You feel me? Of course, I love the street shit. All that. You feel me? Love that shit. But it was like, nah, he really was, like, help, like, teaching niggas and, like, like opening niggas' minds to, like, looking at shit different and, like, moving on shit. Like, now, like, nigga, don't waste no time with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, the whole brand shit. Like, Nip really the one that was, like, Punching that shit in my head, like, bro, we gotta build our brands, bro. Fuck all these niggas' brands, bro. We be wearing all these niggas' clothes. We get millions of views on our videos and shit. Yeah. Nigga, we need to have nigga, our own shit, our own shit. I'm like, yeah, you right, bro. You right. Like, he like, <laughs> nigga, 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 Hove, man. Look what uh, Hove did. Nigga, he sold that shit for like 200 something million. Nigga, we, I'm like, yeah, bro, for sure. And then, like, over the time, like, like I really, like, was like, all right, I'm ready. Right, let's go. Yeah, but sometimes that's how it works for you. Motherfucker just gotta. Put something on your brain, you might not get it right then and there, but as long as they put it on your brain, eventually when they come around, you're like, all right, let me stop. Because that's how the podcast shit work with us. People it got to be your time. Your time is your time. Right. No matter how much somebody might lay it on you, you know how in life we got our spaces where we trying to do certain shit at certain times. So it'll be like, yeah. damn, that is good. But I'm not going to jump over all this shit I'm trying to do right now to just go do that and fuck this shit up. I got to get this shit in order. Yeah. And uh, that's how I be now. A lot, you know, a lot of times on social media, a lot of times they be talking about this fifty fifty thing. How do you feel about fifty fifty with a woman? Huh? Do you believe in that? <laughs> I mean, uh, fifty fifty. I mean, like, I ain't never had to believe in it. I've been doing this shit like like my whole life. I've been doing, you know what I'm saying? So like, I don't even know what that feel like or look like, you know? Yeah. So, uh. <laughs> he said, I don't even, I, I foot all that, I, I take care of anything. Yeah, since a, since a youngin', bro, I was in jail, like paying, you feel me, the rent and the cable bill from, you feel me, the county. Yeah. Like, so like, I don't like, I'm used to like being a provider and like taking care of the situation, but um, a female with her own shit, so where it's like, yeah, she could do the fifty fifty shit, but you ain't even got to. I think that's the vibe. You feel me? Like knowing you got somebody that you feel me could like hold it down if it needs to be held down. You know what I'm saying? But like, um, why would you like? What's the behind the fifty fifty? What's the thing? I don't thing? know. That's like, what they be. You know, they be asking that question. Is it because of like, like no, they try- we got too much control? When we do everything and we paying for everything, so that like fifty fifty is like, so it can be like no nigga, you can't do none of that shit, nigga. I'm running this shit too, nigga. Bring your ass home, nigga. At nigga at ten uh fucking p.m. nigga or nigga. I'm t- is that the reason to go fifty fifty? <laughs> yeah, I, we I'll be trying to figure it out too. You know, for me, I look at it like this. It depends on what, you know, what's your circumstances in life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I might I might meet you, you a college student, I'm a college student. We like each other, we fall in love, neither one of us ain't got shit. If we move into an apartment together, we going 50-50 because I ain't got shit, you ain't got shit, we on the come up. Yeah, that's a fact. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that's a fact. Oh, but we love each other, that's what's most important. Now, when we come the fuck up and I get this beef bacon and my mom, they sock it to my pocket like a fucking rocket, yeah. you ain't got to pay for nothing, baby. But until yeah. then, we trying to survive. 
Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. We in motherfucking survival mode yeah. out this bitch. So it depends on, for me, what situation you in. You know what I'm saying? Because the bottom line is, is a lot of is a is a is a group of women out here, a large group of women out here that love homeless sexuals. Niggas that's homeless that fuck the leather off you for a place <laughs> to stay, for somewhere to yeah, lay they up. They fucking for their life. They love them. They life on the line. They fucking for their life. Because, right. because <laughs> shit. <laughs> to play that little, to play little Raheem PlayStation, rip right. that refrigerator door off. Oh, fucking shit. put dents in the couch in all the fucking day. Shit. They love him because you know why? He ain't got shit going on. He got shit going so on. So when I come she home from do, work. She could talk crazy, what? nigga, and anything. When, nigga, what the fuck is you doing? Ah, ah. And when I come home from work. Guess what I know? I got a warm body in that bed at night. Yeah, That's no, all I really sure. give a fuck about. I just need a warm. I'm tired of the other side of that bed being cold as shit. I need that warm body next to me. Yeah. So they put up with anything, you know? So at the end of the day, for me, it depends on what situation you in. Yeah. You know, and what make you happy. Yeah, no, I feel that. I feel that. Mm. That's all that shit really was. Wallow was going 50, you know, 50 50 on his commissary with his celly. You know? The fuck out of here. Never ju- <laughs> I never judged. The fuck out of here, you nut. Now, now, <laughs> this episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Wood Grooming. One mm. thing about Wood Grooming, I need, before we even start, you need to go on Instagram, you need to go to Twitter, you need to go on YouTube, mm. and you need to follow Wood Grooming. W O U L D mm. Grooming. I'm telling you, one thing about them, listen. Great products. I'm Get talking you about right a too. new men's grooming line offering products across hair, body, beard, and shave. Will products you'll look best, smell your best, feel your best. Now all you had to do is live your best. Think about that. I'm talking about they got all type of products. Right now you go to wood, getwood.com, or you go to your local CVS and they'll take care of you. I'm talking about shampoos, conditioners, mm. body washes, mm. deodorants. Mm. I'm talking about in three cents. Summer house, golden hour, fresh track. I'm talking about damn golden hour. That's, mm. That sounds great, you know, having my golden hour. Mm-hmm. You know, you, that's because you love golden showers. No, I ain't gonna say all that, but that's another story. <laughs> but at the end of the day, they got, I'm talking about deodorant. I'm talking about, you, but let, let me just stop before I even get any further about wood. One thing that makes it even, even great is that all products are $15 or less. I'm talking about fifteen dollars or less, beat that. and I'm talking about all you got to do is go to CVS or go to GetWood.com. What are you waiting for? I'm talking about all type of scrub, moisturizers. I'm talking about face washes. I'm talking about everything: beer conditioners, oils, shaving you creams, got they have. everything. What are you waiting for? GetWood.com. Now, when you was in the joint, right? What's a crazy moment you had up in that joint, man? Some shit. I mean, does you ever see some crazy shit, nigga? Ever get out of pocket and you like what, man? Like, what was a crazy moment in the joint? I mean, I was in. A- you feel me? I was in the county, so you feel me? It was just but all LA, squabbles. LA, LA County is serious. You yeah, but it's like when you from out here, it's regular. Like, you yeah. feel me? It was just like, just like gang bang, like everything. You know what I'm saying? So it was a whole bunch of fights and shit. Like, I ain't seen But no then they had y'all separate? They don't have y'all separated in LA? Yeah, you got dorms and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, you'll be in a dorm. It's some dorms when it's like all like bloods and it's all, you feel me? Whatever. And it's all hoovers and it's all woo wop. But then you would be in. Some dorms and it's like mixed Mix. up a little bit, oh, you know what shit. I'm saying? Yeah. Like, did they ever just throw depending a depending on what flow you on? Did they ever just throw like a a, a a rolling sixty nigga in with a motherfucker on a block with just all bloods and shit? Yeah, they do that. No, the court, bro. The court tanks be like the, you know what I'm saying? When everybody going to court, they be serious. Oh yeah, you feel me? That's where it get active at. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't no structure, like it ain't no, like you feel me? They just put niggas in cells, like. You feel me waiting to, you feel me hop on a bus to hit the court. You know what I'm saying? So right. you, you feel me going to court is where it get real tricky at. And then the dorms, you feel me, it get tricky. Bro, they be doing that, bro. They go put, they know like, oh, yeah, he from over here. Yeah, let's go put him in this with all them niggas. Mm-hmm. You feel me? They do that for because sure. Because I'm pretty sure you got CEOs who grew up in a blood set. He he know everything that's going on in the streets. He not in the streets, but he his family in the streets, so he know when such and such got shot. He know when such and such, but he just a CEO. And then a nigga come through from the other city. No, I got this. Yeah. No, 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 no. He's not going on that block. He's going on that block. Yeah. Send his ass over there. He yeah. get right over there. He nigga like this. Way hold the fuck up. Yeah. yeah. No, it's for sure. It's for sure. Police motherfuckers out here like that. It's. Motherfucking in Inglewood and shit. I used to live in Inglewood and shit. It's a black dude. You feel me? He was like known for like dropping niggas off, like cuffing niggas up and dropping them off in their inamigo hood. 
Damn. I'm dropping them off in the alley, <laughs> pulling off. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you know what I'm saying? In the county, all that's going on. Like, yeah. What see, LA's so different on the uh, you know, the politics. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, the gang banging culture and shit. That shit is like when you grow up in Philly where we don't really gang bang, that shit be you you know, you look at that shit like, yo, that shit kinda crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I guess, you know, we got things that we do that y'all probably look at like, wait, that shit kind of right. crazy. Because I know every time somebody from L.A. come to Philly and I pick them up and we riding through the hood, they be fucked up. Like, <laughs> hey, all y'all niggas' houses touch. Yeah. Like, you niggas ain't got backyards or nothing. <laughs> like, like no, like, when you when they argue and he slap his, his chick and they arguing because she she got caught cheating and all that you hear everything that's going on like when yeah. she's trying to stab him because he did some dumb shit you hear everything that's going on mm-hmm. like like you in the house with them that's how close our houses is and everybody that come to philly be fucked up about that you yeah, know when i used to come to philly with me and shit he'd <laughs> drive me through that shit and he'd be explaining to me all the shit. I used to be like, bro, this shit crazy. Everybody said every it, time it I crazy, t- don't it? Every time I touch down in Philly, I hit Meek like, hey, nigga, oh, uh, yeah, come pull up on me because I right. need what I need. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, bro, like, Philly dangerous, bro. I've been, you feel me? I done been out, I done seen that yeah. shit. I'm like, oh, yeah, this shit don't, you know what I'm saying? This shit feel different. Right. LA will fool you. Yeah, because it looked yeah, like cool. You'll so, be next to a house, you like, this shit would be a mansion listen, in Philly. I, some, some Mexicans ran You'll down on me one time. the fuck off. Because uh-huh. I'm, listen, I'm in, I'm in LA. I mean, you know I be shooting my videos, so I'm, I go to shoot some videos. Because I'm like, damn, it's nice as shit over here. I know, I know ain't nothing going on over here. So this safe area, right? Man, this motherfucker came out the crib on me. I, I, I wouldn't expect these Mexican boys to come out this fucking house. Because the house was nice. It was grass. Once I see grass and lawn, I'm immediately <laughs> thinking like, yo, it's chill this over here. suburbs. It, you know, it's chill over here. And I, man, the motherfuckers came out on me. I'm like, oh shit, I, cause I never imagined you could see, cause I could see them. I see the palm trees. I see the. I'm like, this is a nice area. This is cool, man. L. A. will fuck you up. He, he yeah, set LA his camera up, right? I set my camera. He run all down, down the block. He start screaming, "Get up! I'm what doing you doing? And shit. Wake up!" Dude, them niggas came out. And I was, what the fuck is you doing? Oh my god! He started bitching at a rabbit rate. Wait, it was whoa. crazy. Man. I thought I was out of here. <laughs> I do videos. Yeah. It's real. He know that shit. Real. I didn't need it. But hey, bro, one of the motherfucking Mexican boys was like, "That's wild, though." It was like it was. This shit could have been in a movie. I'm like, damn, he saved me. I grabbed my shit. I got up out of there, man. Yeah, you was probably yeah, bro. You I ain't know what the fuck though. I'm like, they ain't yeah. got no signs. They ain't got no warnings. None of that. Wrong, dangerous area. You know what I mean? <laughs> shit look all nice. You think like, damn, Rodale Drive around the corner. Shit. Yeah, next time, bro, you gotta go on like gang maps or something to try to figure yeah. out like damn, what they street got you gang on. Maps yeah, they got gang maps. Yeah. You go Google that shit next time. You yeah. trying to go film some shit? You know what I'm shit. saying? That shit was crazy. Well, you know yeah. this shit dangerous. They got gang maps from yeah, LA bro. where you can't go. They, they got what that shit got red. Nah, they blue. just got it to where like you feel me. You can go look and see who hood. Yeah, like, where you, you at? Yeah, you feel me? Like that's because a motherfucker. To. I'm thinking this. What I'm thinking. I'm thinking like a rap video. I'm thinking niggas gonna be posted on the motherfucking block. No, these niggas was in the crib, man. They came out of nowhere, and it was a nice day. So I'm like, "Where was you at? What streets you I, on?" I forget that month. I ain't even want to remember the motherfucker. <laughs> I just knew it was nice because listen, I was going, I was going somewhere to some seafood spot, but in my process, I seen a nice area. I tell, a, I tell a, the Uber boy, "Yo, you can let me out right here. I'm cool." He's like, you sure? I'm like, yeah, I'm cool. I ain't know that you sure it was like motherfucker. You know where yeah. you at? I jumped out. It was, you know, I just thought it was sweet around that motherfucker. Yeah, no, nah, bro, it ain't never sweet out here, bro. You can be on ho- on Hollywood Boulevard, it ain't. And they can get busy. Get busy, it's not sweet. Yeah, I, I realized sweet, that bro. shit. You but, realized that after a while, man. But yeah. no, uh, you know when I realized that motherfucking L.A. be on some serious, serious demon fucking time. I'm on vacation with one of my homies from L.A. I'm gonna leave him out of you know his name, name. And this motherfucker kept getting calls about artists. Yo, I'm here with such and such. What can we do to him? I'm like, what? <laughs> Extortion. Bro, when I tell you. Check in, nigga. They, they, they called about Seriously. for about seven, eight motherfuckers. Yeah, we got such and such right here. 
what can we do with him? I'm like, God damn. <laughs> yeah. like, this shit crazy. This shit real. Like, yeah, nah, yeah. For sure. So if you come out to LA, nigga, then please lock in with some fucking body. Because yeah, you somebody. definitely get stripped ass nigga yeah. for everything out this motherfucker. Yeah, nah, Shug, put, hey, Suge turned it up like that, I think. Suge was the one turned it up? I think so. I believe so. Suge wasn't playing. Because Shug these was playing. Shug wasn't playing. Hey, matter of fact, I had a combo with Suge last night. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Shug we had Suge on the time. show. Uh, couple, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. peeped that. I peeped that. Yeah, I peeped yeah. that. He, yo, yeah, Shug, I peeped that. You know what's crazy? A lot of motherfuckers don't know Suge is a funny motherfucker, man. Yeah, he be tripping. Oh man, yeah. he was on because we was offline on the phone when he was just tripping. But yeah, you say Suge put it down like that. Niggas come over here. You know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that nigga Suge, man. That nigga wasn't playing with niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he turned the city to a monster. <laughs> <laughs> now. Being as though you got time in the game, you heavy in the game. If I'm a young cat, you know, I live in Harlem, I live in Compton, I live in Seattle, I live in, you know, Philly, wherever, and I'm looking at this interview right now, and I'm trying to get in a rap game. What type of game and direction could you give me, whether it's about the business, about the approach, about, you know, getting in the studio? What type of game could you give me if I'm watching this shit right now? Man, make dope-ass music, you know what I'm saying? First, first you got to. First, first, you got to be able to produce product, you know what I'm saying, that, like, people will gravitate to, like, large amount of people, not just your friends who who going to gas you because, bro, they trying to make it out with you, you know what I'm saying? You got to, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like. That be real. Yeah, you, you got to. shit. Yeah, you really got to make, you feel me, dope music, you feel me? So, you feel me, that's, like, the main focus when you trying to get in the game. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, you know what I'm saying? You got to have, like, um, you got to know what you, what I fucked up at is I didn't know the business and I didn't have no people around me like that. You know what I'm saying? And, like, guide me through that shit when all my shit started happening. You know what I'm saying? So I went through whatever I went through because of that. But it was more on the business side. I had the music, but it was just the business. So, you know what I'm saying? Once you got the music and once you, Got the music, but focus on the music, my nigga, because ain't nothing happening if you can't make the music, bro. Right. So, like, focus on dope-ass music um, and not going viral because motherfuckers just be trying to go yeah, viral. Yeah, that's bro. the thing with social. Yeah, it's like, bro, nigga, make a hit, nigga. Uh, make, and- nigga, a ghetto anthem, nigga. Make some hood shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's going, nigga, nigga, have your city, nigga. Like, no, he the one. You feel me? And then, um, man, there's so many levels to this shit, yeah. you feel me, for me, like, cause I, like, you feel me, I can start popping about all, like, everything else, but it ain't gonna matter to somebody who young trying to get in the game, all the other shit, you feel me, that I can talk about, it's just, bro, focus on the music, you know what I'm saying? Right. You feel me, you need music, and you need a solid team to start with, you feel me, start moving what's, what's around the, the city. What's the team? What's the team? You feel me, the team, for a beginner, you feel me? You need somebody who can move you around, depending on what type of music you making. You feel me? Um, but you need somebody who can move you around to these different cities and these clubs and and and, and link with the DJs and like build up your relationships with all these people. You know what I'm saying? And um, or you need that person, and then you need producers like dope music. But you can go find beats on YouTube nowadays. So you know what I'm saying? Um, but it's the music, bro. Like I can't tell a nigga nothing, bro. If if the homie come to me like, bro, I want to rap, right. I'm going to say, let me hear the songs. Right. The song. you, it, you can't, it, can't sell bad weed said, in Cali. You said, you said the songs. <laughs> yeah, the songs. Because, because because a lot of people, and, and I'll be trying to tell little youngins when I run into them, they be like, yeah, I'm hot. Look, look at this post. They send me a post. I'm like, yo, you, you're rapping over somebody else's beat. So majority of the reason people listen to you because that's a popular beat already. Yeah. You're freestyling off somebody. Where is your song? Fuck that freestyle and fuck the ver- yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is a song that you created that's your shit that, you know, get some traction that's going to be popping in the streets, popping in the club? Where is something that people could grab hold on to that's your shit? Not no IG freestyle over somebody else's beat. And one of the most important things is get the right homies around you. You know what I mean? If every song you make is hot, ooh, goddamn, to- you got the wrong niggas around you, man. Yeah, for sure. Cause nigga, it's gonna be some motherfucker days where you was just at the club, you was partying, you drank too much liquor, and when you was recording last night, you heard the wrong shit in your head. 
Yeah, facts. And then when you get sober, you're like, what the, we was fucking tripping last night. <laughs> yes, I <laughs> definitely I definitely do that shit. <laughs> like, every artist I do that niggas, shit. Hey, bro, do not let me get too faded <laughs> if I'm supposed to be rapping, because, nigga, it's going to be bad. Right. Oh, you know oh, motherfuckers do that. You feel what I'm saying? Where you, it might not even be you drunk. It might be you just, let me try some different shit. Yeah. Let me try some shit that I normally wouldn't try. It, you know, because to be an artist, you tr- you got to be willing to try some different shit. You try mm-hmm. some shit, you be like, ah, nah, that wasn't that hot. They'll turn that shit off. Scared so, money don't make no money. Right. So yeah. if, you, if you got friends around you and everything you do is hot, you got the wrong niggas around you. Yeah, they fucking you're probably, yes, man. You're probably going to fail. They in there hype. Yeah, that shit. You need a nigga to be like. That shit bullshit, man. Because you need niggas sometimes to test you. You need some niggas to keep it real with you. I don't know that. I mean, it's cool. You know, nigga might tell you it's, it's, it's cool. You know what I mean? But that ain't, you know, you know that not that other one. Nigga, that's man. When your homies say shit like that, that's when they trying to keep it real with you. Yeah. That, that's cool. No, but that that jump out the window. Jump yeah, out the that, window, that's the new single. Nigga, that jump out the window. That shit gonna tear the clubs up. <laughs> My fuckers gonna be jumping oh, out the girl. window. You know what I mean? Yeah. So and, get the right team around you, right friends around you, man. And that, and that's major, man. And I think, like he said, he said some very important, you said some real important, YG, you said everybody just trying to go viral. Right. That shit don't last. It ain't got no hang time, especially when they ain't got nothing to land on. Right. You go viral off a moment, now they go to your page, they go, ain't nothing there. Oh, ain't, ain't no website, ain't, ain't no ain't no link in the bio where they could buy some merch or book. You no, know, you ain't got no 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 music. They go to iTunes or whatever. You ain't got shit there. You just did something real quick, and then you wonder why people don't stay. And then when you mm-hmm. chase them viral, and you finally go viral, and you get the little fifteen minutes of fame, then all you find yourself doing now is chasing another clown viral shit. moment. Yep. Exactly. So now you now you're becoming a whole fucking clown wow. out here because you chasing viral. a you, yeah. you you see how I many old niggas be out here doing goofy shit, acting goofy because they trying to chase a viral moment. Yeah, bro. Definitely. Shit be goofy, man. Shit be goofy. See, mm-hmm. one thing about me, I could I could do this shit that I do because I always been this way. When you Google me and I come up back in the day, he was shot the fuck out. He was, he was doing crazy shit back yeah. then. So it's not no, right. oh, he's reaching. He No, but motherfuckers come to a, a midlife crisis. Oh, I'm just fucking, I'm going to try something new. Be out here 38 doing dumb shit on Instagram and social media for no fucking reason. Like, go sit your old ass down and watch Madlock, man. For real, man. Why ain't nobody subscribing to that dumb shit, man? Yeah, man. That's how that shit be, man. So uh, how do, how do you feel about marriage? Marriage, uh, I don't really, bro. <laughs> wait, wait. Listen, bro. I live my own life. Like I believe in the shit that I believe in for yeah. my for my reasons and my and the things that I've been through in life. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, marriage is cool. It's some man made shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's some shit somebody else created. I can create my own shit. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But um, marriage is is. is Marriage is cool, but like I seen my my mom and my pops. I grew up with my mom and my pops and shit. My pops went to jail. I was like 15, 16, boom, he went to jail. You feel me? It, you feel me? They did this while he was in jail and shit. And they was married for like 20 some years. And then um, you feel me? So I seen all that. So like to me, it's like marriage don't mean shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, bro, that's shit. <laughs> bro, so it's like, what's the point of getting married? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I what mean, is the like? What's the point? Right. My my whole point. I mean, you know, other than I love my wife, and you know, but for me, marriage is more for me. You know, and I hope my I hope my baby don't take this personal. But for me, marriage was more just putting protection on my family, just in case something happened. You feel what I'm saying? Because you know. You don't be married and something happened and then you got all types of family members and going through lawsuits about your paper and shit and all kinds of dumb ass shit. You feel what I'm saying? So for me, it was just putting protection on my family just in case something happened to me. My wife is good. Ain't no dumb shit. Because at the end of the day, we've been together so fucking long. When you got married, well, well, nothing fucking changed. We woke up the next fucking day and it okay, we married. All right. Nothing didn't fucking change. Uh-huh. We still do the same shit. We still live the same life. We still do the same things. Nothing changed. You know what I'm saying? So for us, you know, we're just about having that protection. Hey, but dude, okay, so I feel that. And so, boom, you can have protection. You can, like, 
do your will and your trust and all that. So if something happened to you, everything is bop, 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 bop. You feel me? So it's like, all right, cool, that's cool. Yeah. But then it's like, you got to, you feel me, that option too. I look at marriage and I'm like, it's cool when y'all good. But then you see what like Kanye going through, you know what I'm saying? It look like he going through the shit. You feel me? Yeah. And you feel me? He got to go through divorce papers and all that shit. That shit a job a nigga crazy. But like, that, 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 I'm going to keep it all the way real. As men, that ain't what drive you crazy, man. Something would drive you crazy. Man, a man blazing your bitches would drive you crazy. Exactly. Man, 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 when a nigga fucking the leather, leather off your bitch and he just leaving zippers on the bed, that's <laughs> that's the shit that drive you crazy, man. And now you got to go through divorce and papers and you got to right. go deal with all that and you got to, like, all that make it worse. But for like, me, when you ain't married, you can just. But for me, that's all a mental thing, man. But no, it, yeah, that's that, for you. That, that ain't the truth. That ain't gonna though. be a mental thing for everybody. That ain't the everybody. truth, though. That's not the truth, though, because there's <laughs> niggas that's in relationships that just got girlfriends who they what they girlfriend cheat and they go through it like they still yep. married. Uh, but you ain't gotta go kill through it. Right you feel me? This is mine uh, and this is yours and signing paper. All that shit is just like, bro. That's like some. That's the part that I don't fuck with because I it's like it's cool like when we good. It's he's like, like my paper. Cool. I, still, like, I, I, I know what he's saying. My paper. I know like, what he's saying. My paper. He, he low key telling us we ain't got enough money yet. You know what I'm saying when you niggas get to fifty million, you know what I'm Hey, when it get bad, if it get bad, it's gonna be a whole nother. <laughs> yeah, that money. <laughs> that, you got to part with that so money like, too, bro. He, he tell you. And you got to part with I that see money. what he's saying. No, you don't. No, he you said, sign that thing. He, he said, said that you, thing. He said, sign that thing. On point, he let that money go. Stop it. Y'all know how much money in this rap shit. Get me. Let that paper go. So I can't sign no shit. You know, I put that shit in my will. But <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker get this paper. He said, you know what type of money I'm about to get on this fucking I tour. Be, <laughs> shit be crazy. Facts. This Hello. tour rate gets stupid. This <laughs> money bag rate drop. Nigga, he said over here, I love my baby, but she ain't writing none of the fucking raps. <laughs> 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 motherfuckers be like that. That sound like me. <laughs> I wrote oh, these raps. I took these penitentiary chances <laughs> to build this brand what up. The, what? Shit. Yeah, That's how that shit be, man. I'm the one sitting around designing these goddamn clothes. Yeah, that should be No, deep. but it, all that don't really mean nothing because this woman could get whatever she want anyway. Yeah, you facts. know what I'm saying? So, facts, yeah. facts, facts, facts. You know what I mean? So, uh, But when y'all not good, it's like that's over with. Like, y'all ain't good. Yeah, that's like the truth. Drake just had to pay up and he was happy about it because, you know, he a billion dollar nigga, but he just paid up some crazy shit. Drake? Dre, Dr. Dre. Oh, Dr. Dre. Oh, shit. No, but. I but she get, rolled with him from. She no, was dead. No. She was shooting with him in the, She was in the gym shooting with him yeah, in the gym. Yeah, but when is enough enough? Like, like, you would shoot with me in the gym. He go 30 oh, million. All right, you got a billion. You got like, a billion. How much you supposed to pass million. off? 30 million. How much you passing off if you got to step off and you got a billion? How much you going to get? 30 him? million. Like, I ain't giving shit. Like, you still, like, like, <laughs> like, I got a billion dollars. Hey, right? Listen, when yeah, you fucking I'm, with me, yeah. you're fucking with me. If you ain't when fucking. you're not, you're not. All right, so what I'm saying is, right, all right, you <laughs> as my wife, all right, I. I accumulated a billion dollars. You already got your own bank account. So you already got money in your shit. All right, I'm going to give you this 30-piece chicken nugget. You good. <laughs> you know, she you, might, yeah, I feel you. I feel you, bro. She might you know, that's, that. you feel me? That's, I don't know. How much Trey was, had to give up? Like some hundred million. Oh, like, shit. Like a hundred or something. I read it. I don't know. Um, I think it was a hundred million, but it was something crazy. But he was happy. He see, was like, see cool. let me tell you something. Yeah. But I'm like, See, that's the type of shit when you be kidding with you. That's Ooh. when you be contemplating other shit. Damn. 40,000, I get out of here. But listen. <laughs> Call little boo boo. <laughs> but no, a, a hundred, and you got nine more. You probably like, fuck it. I oh, mean, no, man. I mean, because no. if you're happy, that I means it's going to be you buying your piece. How long was she with him? For, for a long time. All right. No, no, no. Imagine I, niggas I, who be who, who your woman was with you for, 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 for 11 months. You yeah. married her six months in. Damn. That's all. Lord have mercy. That's, That's all. Crazy. You got to go through the mud with me to get some, you know what I'm saying, some type of marriage or something. Right. He like, we get married when we're 80. No, he said you had to be there from the beginning. <laughs> you got to go through some shit. Some deep shit. Okay. Yeah. This nigga. Yeah, YG deep. <laughs> you got to go to prison with me. <laughs> yeah, you got to be my celly, bitch. Yeah, you got to take this case, baby. Take this case. <laughs> you got to take this yes to case, baby. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But, but cops okay. outside the car so miss. You mean to tell me this is your FN? Yeah. Yes, my FN. This is FN. This is yours. Yes. Why'd you sit there? Oh. She said it was, she it, was, it was it was it was it was a hundred million, fifty now, 
He paid the 50 and 50 a year later. Uh. So he gave a 50. For, ah, he ripped 50 off. Here you go. Yeah. Wham. And then next year, I'm going to give you nothing. Wham. Yeah, I know what he said. Make some new headphones. Clear the fuck up. Yeah, mm. Get out the way. Damn. <laughs> Design some new headphones. No, that's vicious when you could do that. Yeah, yeah, that's that's some that's some big boy shit, man. Big boy shit, big dog shit. Yeah. Absolutely, man. Yeah. But shit, man, you got the you got the single out, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. When is the album coming? The album coming soon, bro. I'm working. I'm working. You ain't get no title yet. Huh? You ain't titled the album yet. You still working on that? For the title? Huh? The no title. That's the name. He got his new album, YG, huh? The <laughs> album. We not talking about juvenile even. <laughs> hey, but I see he learned from Jeezy. Yes, he did. He oh, learned yeah. from Jeezy. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, uh, before he was waiting on the album, Jeezy said, put that shit out. That When the album come out, I don't know, but the single out, out nigga. <laughs> go get that shit. <laughs> put that shit, shit out. Scared, man. Real talk, but go go, go get it. You're going to be, be out there this, 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 this summer touring. Oh, most definitely. He's going to be all over. Yeah, I'm finna be, bro. You gonna be at the, all them festivals. Bro, come on, bro. I've been waiting like two years for this. You, know you gonna saying? go crazy. I'm ready. Picking up a Beanie Seagull at night. Uh, oh, picking up more than that. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. shit. My fault. Uh, two Beanie Seagulls. What, huh? <laughs> oh, nigga shit. In the bag. God like four damn. five of them things. Oh, Lord. Depending on the situation. Depending on the situation. Don't uh, let so it be a Depending on the capacity of the venue. Oh, okay. Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> How that feel, though? How <laughs> that feel, though, bro? Man, shit, bro. From, from you, being a young nigga with a dream. Because when we young and we coming shit. in the game, this all we really ever wanted. We think yeah. about the money, yeah. but let's be for real. We want to hit that motherfucking stage and them bitches fall out like Michael Jackson. Why <laughs> did I like ah! Just pass out. Ambulance there and like, all that shit. How that shit feel, man? Nah, that shit feel good for like, you feel me, the, like the part, like, you feel me, the females is good and that shit cool, but the part, like the main shit for me is just like, to see motherfuckers um, rapping like the lyrics that you yeah. wrote, and they yeah. like, like, bro, they sick, they fucking shouting that shit, and yeah. going crazy, like, you feel me? That's the part that's like, damn, bro, they really fucking with like the thing, and like right. how I do my thing, like, right. and they really be like living their life, like, like to my shit. You feel me? So that's the part. You feel me? That's like special to me the most. And then of course you feel me the females and the, all the shit. And the lifestyle and all that, you know what I'm saying? Which is very dangerous at the same time. But yeah, bro. Yeah. Hey, like the crazy thing is like me and Nip, we used to be talking and shit. And like Nip would be like, what's your goal? And like we had a goal talk. And then you feel me, that nigga Nip used to be like, yeah, nigga, you feel me? I just want to just, you feel me, start getting like a hundred racks a show. And nigga, I'm going to be good. You feel me? This is like 2012, yeah. you feel me? Yeah. So like niggas start like yeah hundred racks that's crazy like whoa wow. then the niggas start getting like one fifties and I'm like oh my god this is crazy yeah like nigga what and then it just you feel me that shit gets bigger and bigger and bigger and it's just like damn bro we were talking about a hundred k and like now that shit ain't nothing right like you feel me that be the shit like bro this shit crazy right yeah well, last question before we get out of here right you young YG coming in the game when was the moment. That moment. When was the moment where you somewhere yelling about you might have been at a award show, you might have been, but that person walked up on you and was like, oh, my God, YG, I fuck with you, man. I love you, man. You you And you was like, oh, shit, that's such and such. Oh, shit, that's Mariah Cat, Nigga, I'm on, nigga. Uh, it's on, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, bro, okay. Snoop. Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg, Snoop, Snoop, bro. Oh, Snoop. Oh, oh. Uncle walked up on you. Yeah, yeah, nigga. So, nigga, this like two of them booted, like was like popping and shit and shit. And they was like, nigga, Snoop wants you to come perform the song at um one of their football games. You know, he had the whole football yeah. league and shit. Mm -hmm. So you feel me, this back in the day, this is like before it really started popping at the radio. Like, mm -hmm. I don't even think it was on the radio yet, bro. This is like, two th like top of 2010 or like 2009, some shit, bro. Yeah. So you feel me, I'm like, nigga, Snoop? I'm like, what? I'm, I'm there, yeah, like, let's fucking go. Right. So we went, like, you feel me, it was in like Diamond Bar or something, like, wow. Like, nigga, pull up. Snoop like just embracing the nigga, yeah. nigga. Like, yeah, you got it, nigga. Like, I'm like, nigga, what the fuck, nigga? Yeah. Snoop, nigga. Yeah. And then uh, I did the song and like all the kids was going crazy singing the shit. Like, and Snoop, 
And I'm like not trying to cuss. All the kids cussing Snoop like, nigga, say that shit, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the gang. But like, bro, that was the moment. I'm like, oh, this shit different. Like, you know, niggas grew up like oh, oh, Snoop. Snoop, Snoop. Yeah, like, nigga, The legend. Nigga, what, nigga? So it's like, nigga, that moment. And Snoop talk about this shit all the time. Like, mm -hmm. He bring that shit up all the time. You feel me? But like, you feel me? That was it for me. You know what I'm saying? Like Snoop, like, like West Coast God. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, uh. Or to get the uh, stamp from Snoop like early, like early, early. That was like, you know what I'm saying? That was everything. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. That was Your everything. confidence went through the roof? Um, I mean, I'm I knew like you a was a confident nigga, bro. nigga, but I know what, but when Snoop, when a legend called yeah. you and tell you, nigga, you got it. Yeah. I mean, bro, that's cool, but. I would have been home going crazy. Get break out the pen, nigga. Nah, we had a moment for sure. <laughs> like, niggas had a moment for sure, but like, nigga always be like, yeah, that's cool, but. Uh, how about the next song? Like, right. what's yeah. gonna be the next shit? Right, because you know you got to keep, yeah, keep going. You got to stay consistent with Fuck this shit. Right. So you know, like nigga, live in a moment for a moment. But right. it's like a nigga always be like, bro, don't get too like. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Because nigga, you feel me? The game cold. You know what I'm saying? The industry cold. Yep, yeah, you be yeah. hot today. You be freezing cold tomorrow. Yes, you yeah. will be. She cool you off like cold. the AC in the column. Oh God! Yeah. So like nigga always had that type of energy <laughs> with this shit. That shit'll cool you all. Oh, man, we appreciate you they for appreciate coming through, man. man. You already know when the album come, let us know if we pull them back up. Yes, man, though. You got the single out right now. Go yeah. stream that motherfucker. Yeah. Scared go, money out now. Scared man. money is out right now. Go stream it. Go purchase it. Go check the video out and go put your 16 on there. You Niggas know thought man? it was over. No, it ain't never over. It ain't never over. <laughs> if you breathe, it, you breathe it ain't never over. <laughs> ain't never over. Yeah, the breathe is the win. It was over. Yes, it is. And you came, and you come like that, huh? Come like that, nigga. It ain't over. You just getting started. Yes, sir. I can imagine what the next one gonna sound like. Yeah, come on, man. Stop playing with that you. way. That way. That way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It is just like that. Right. Yeah.